Well, another example of the impact of endocalyx is an observation that we did on wound healing. This is an individual that came to us with a very poor recovery from an open wound in a lower limb. The wound didn't close. There was hardly any blood perfusion in the wound area, as you can tell. It was very pale. The surrounding tissue started turning very dark and black, and there was a high risk of lower limb amputation in this individual. At the same time, the individual was suffering from a chronic level of hypertension and blood pressures of 200 over 110. It was not responsive treatment by conventional antihypertensive drugs. And as soon as this individual started taking endocalyx, already after a few weeks, we saw a change in the color inside the wound area. So there was a clear increase in the level of microvascular blood flow in the wound area. And after three to four months, we saw that the wound started closing and actually completely healed and still taking endocalyx. Or even as important, even more important, and we also realized in this individual, and we've seen it now many times, that also the uncontrollable, apparently uncontrollable levels of hypertension are quickly normalized after taking endocalyx only for a few weeks. So blood pressure dropped from 200 over 110 to as low as 126 over 70 and stayed stable in a normal range while taking endocalyx. Well, we did similar studies in a mouse model of aging. And in this mouse model of taking endocalyx for eight weeks in older mice clearly showed that you compare the microvascular health in young mice uh, with older mice, it drops down by losing a lot of capillaries and damage to your glycocalyx. And already after eight weeks of taking endocalyx, there's a significant increase again in microvascular health. But similarly, in this, this same mouse model, we also measured the level of nitric oxide production by our larger vessels. And again, the drop in nitric oxide production with aging was almost completely reversed by taking endocalyx for eight weeks in the older mice. Also, if you look at the level of inflammation by measuring the accumulation of macrophages in the gut, there's a significant increase in inflammation with aging, which is again normalized by taking endocalyx. And also, if we measure the blood pressures in the older mice, we find a significant normalization of blood pressure in the older mice taking endocalyx. Well, currently, we are doing a study also on humans measuring blood pressure effects of endocalyx. So, consistent with the findings in the aging mice, we see that people with hypertension, so a systolic blood pressure of approximately between 160 and 170 millimeters mercury show a significant drop in the systolic blood pressure to back to into the normal range of about 125. Also, their diastolic blood pressures dropped from over 100 to close to 80 millimeters of mercury. And to finalize, human studies that we did in healthy controls, taking supplements. So again, if we look at the microvascular health score as measured by the glycocheck device on the left as a reference, are the very low scores that we find in critically ill patients in the ICU, one-ish or uh, less than two. Then again, next to that are the normal ranges of microvascular health that we find in individuals that are not taking any supplements. So they typically score in the three to four range. Then on the right-hand side, you see people start taking endocalyx on top of whatever else they are trying to do to improve their microvascular health, we can about to double your microvascular health from the three to four range into the, the seven-ish range, just taking endocalyx for about three months. And to finalize, to show you how we can actually monitor with the glycocheck device what happens, so if you measure the same individuals before taking in the calyx, you can see significant increases in their microvascular health, taking in the calyx for a few months. And again, confirmed by this proof of concept study that we did in the early days, people taking endocalyx, just a regular cross-section of healthy individuals, showing that in the course of three to four months of taking endocalyx, your microvascular health and your capillary density increases about 50%. And at the same time, the level of glycocalyx damage significantly decreases by taking endocalyx.